what's up hello y'all welcome back to the complicated entertainment channel if you are new here welcome i'm so glad you're here if you're not new you know the fucking drill hey right, y'all first things first we'll get into is it seems like ice spice is dressed up as betty boot for halloween um but in case y'all don't know all right when she had the outfit on okay her underwear is showing and she's wearing the iconic okay lotto panties all right the cheetah print panties and in my opinion I think that this was on purpose. It's no way that she's out here wearing cheetah print panties and then she's showing them in the picture. Okay. I think that she was clowning her. All right. Because, you know, last year, um, Lotto even was getting clowned for wearing the same panties, same cheetah print underwear. Then she sold them on eBay. And then it, it was a lot of drama between those underwear. Okay. In case you all do not know. Um, and I think that she's doing a really good job at clowning Lotto. Okay. She's definitely, like, if I was Lotto, that definitely would have got under my skin. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, okay. Ice Spice, every chance you get, throw a sub. Do a little diss. Do a little one-two-one-two. One, two. You know, it never hurts, okay? If you ain't hurting nobody physically, <laughs> then I don't see a problem at all, okay? Do what you got to do, okay? Um, But, yeah, y'all, how do you feel about that? Do you all think that she's, like, doing a little too much with the pants? Like, let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Let's move on to this next one. All right, child, moving on, okay? It seems like Drake and Tyla may have a little something going on, okay? As you all know, Tyla has been going viral for her iconic song, okay, called Water, okay? And Water has been taking over the internet. You know, people are doing the challenge, you know, like taking water and shoving it down their crack. You know, they're doing a little thing with that, okay? But Drake seems to have followed her on social media lately, okay? And Drake, to me, he's a cornball. He's a clout chaser. He follows everybody who starts to get popping, okay? he Whoever is up and coming and, and just now getting numbers and making, you know, noise, he always hops on the fucking bandwagon. And I hate that because, like, Drake just be seem like a clout chaser. And it's bad because Drake be ignoring his day ones, you know, people who really is there for him, okay? But, yes, Tyler and Drake. Now, I can see him hopping on the Water Remix, Okay, I can definitely see that. I would not mind that. I would not mind that at all. But if we were going to do that, I think I want to hear Ariana Grande on it instead. I think Ariana Grande has the perfect harmonies, the perfect voice for it. Just she can really, really, you know, add more life to the song. You know, so Tyler and Ariana Grande is what I want. I don't want Drake and on Tyler. Uh-uh. Um, Drake, to me, just he rides waves. He rides waves. He clout chases and he just be hopping on whoever hot. OK, if you if you hot right now, best believe in five minutes, you will be getting a Drake DM. OK, and that's just a fact on that. OK, let me know your opinion on that. What's your opinion? How you feel about that? Are you excited for the potential collab between the two? Let's talk about it. Let's move on. All right, y'all. Moving on. Pink Friday 2 is now trending on Barnes & Noble as a bestseller, okay? So it seems like Nicki's team, they're getting the album out on every platform possible, okay? It's like every place you can get an album at for vinyls, you're going to be seeing Pink Friday 2 there. So if you haven't already bought your physical, go ahead and get you that album, okay? Go ahead and get it. Go ahead and tune into it, Okay. And yeah, this is a big deal, okay? Now, in my opinion, I think that we're going to see 200,000 to 300,000 pure sales for Pink Friday 2, okay? People are saying 500,000, 600,000. I'm not saying it's not possible, but I personally like to estimate lower than what I think, okay? So that way that my projections always be are surpassed. You know, my, my projections will always be outdone. And that's just how I feel about that. But yeah, what do y'all think about that? Let me know your opinion down below. Let's move on to this next topic, okay? It seems like JT is getting backlash because she has been supporting Nicki Minaj. Um, they feel like JT, you know, D eats Nicki Minaj, okay? Um, they feel like she be D-riding her, all right? Um, and she clapped back, okay? She said, all right, um, please, that don't bother me. If Nicki Minaj walk up to any B, they bowing down. Basically saying that in person, they will never, ever, ever be acting all shady like that, how they do online. And I have to agree with JT. I feel like people get behind um, screens and phones and act big and bad, but they would never say the same thing to the people in person. Now, me personally, I say the same shit to the same people in person, on the phone, through FaceTime, through text. I don't care. Okay, that's me personally. But a lot of people online are like, they're just weak. And they would never, they would never do it, okay? And honestly, yeah, people will be bowing down to her, you know, because it's Nikki, you know? Like, so all this fake outrage behind the screen is just not really realistic for her, for her. So I do get with JT. I don't think that she is, like, D-riding Nikki at all. People would just hate to give her her props. And that's just a fact. 
that's just a big old big old fact okay um now what do y'all think about that let me know your opinion down below. oh my goodness gracious what the hell happened to glorilla where has she been at okay glorilla has been m.i.a like for real um but it seems like she has a new song coming out with j cole oh so it seems like she has to rely on j cole um to get a comeback song because you know nobody's talking about glorilla ever since sexy red came out ever since you know we had these new people come out she's been nowhere in demand at all and it's kind of crazy to see because like glorilla was everywhere at one point you know she was every single where um she had all them hit songs out and then now it's crickets i wonder what happened i really do um but moving forward though am i excited for the new j cole and glorilla potential collab no i'm not um i think that j cole doesn't need to associate himself with glorilla um i don't think that glorilla to me has that much range like to me she don't really have that much like versatility her her versatility is not strong so i just i'm not excited for anything she's coming out with because i think it's gonna sound like something i already heard and that's just my problem with a lot of these artists but that's besides the point um j cole you know he's always gonna make talent he's always gonna make great music j cole is j cole and j cole has been putting out work for a while um i honestly feel like j cole should be on drake status in terms of, like numbers and stuff I don't know why he doesn't do Drake numbers. I don't know why he's not on Drake's status in terms of like Drake's, you know, like numbers and his impact. You know, J. Cole doesn't have as much impact as Drake or, you know, his number, you know. So it's just, I just wish J. Cole was, you know, receiving a bit more from the industry. You know, I feel like the industry kind of like snubs him a bit, you know. Oh, okay. It seems like Chris Brown is being sued by a friend for smashing a bottle of tequila on his head at a London nightclub. Um, the guy reportedly got knocked out unconscious afterwards, but Brown continued to stomp on him which resulted in cuts on his head and torn ligaments on his leg. Ooh, what's going on over there? Um, in my opinion, this is just crazy. But the reason why I'm not shocked for real, for real is that we always have these type of like, you know, allegations when it comes to Chris. Like, it's like, it's always like that. He's always having these violent things going on with him. Um, and I don't know. I'm not surprised, okay? But people are saying that like, you know, honestly, it could be fake because there was no video about it. There was no clips of it. There was no footage released. Okay, so they're saying it's not real. It didn't happen. Okay, that is the rumor on the street. Um, they're saying he got anger issues. It's just a whole lot of conversation around this going on right now. And personally, I don't know how to feel. I don't know how to feel. I feel like it's always something with Chris that it's like, I'm not surprised. You know, I'm so not surprised. So, yes, y'all, what is your opinion? Let's move on to this next topic, okay? Moving on, y'all. It seemed like Bozos is number one. Yep, okay, on radio. Yeah, not on the charts. Let's not be delusional. Let's not be delusional, okay? Now, the song is number one on radio. To me, I'm not shocked because, you know, you can always pay for payola for radio, okay? It's number one on U.S. urban radio. But Bozos is not getting any sales. The music video is not pumping nothing, okay? That's that alleged payola, okay? Um, it's not even top 10 on nothing, okay? You know, when the song ain't really working, you can always rely on payola, Okay, that's that's not hard to do. Okay, um, and in my opinion, I think that they're gonna do Paola. Okay, to number one. Okay, they're gonna push the song in everybody's face as much as possible. Okay, and in my opinion, I feel like personally, they should never release this shit. Like, what is the creative direction? What are we talking about? Like, like, what, what, what was the point of this record? I don't know what it was. Like, what are you trying to say with this song? My back shots sound like bongos. And then I just, I just don't get it. Like, okay. And then what? What now? But hey, it's number one on radio. So I guess the label is doing something right. We're going to see how this song play out. And we're going to see. Well, we already are seeing how it's playing out. It's fucking flopping but yes y'all what is your opinion on that we can talk about it down below let's talk about it let's talk about it and yes y'all thank you so much for watching i appreciate y'all so much and yes y'all thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one be safe